The lockdown of schools have not only resulted in keeping children at home, but also not allowing them to go out and play with their friends. The COVID-19 crisis has affected children globally and their outdoor activities. They are very curious about how long they are going to be stuck at home, out of school, and when can they go and meet their friends. Today, for this episode, we are directly going to speak with the children and know how much they are aware of coronavirus. Tash Dile, this is Sakina Bhatt and you are watching In Conversation with Tibet TV. Let me introduce you to Tenzing Chuki of 2nd Standard. Tash Dile. Tenzing Jamjin Dorji of 3rd Standard. Kung Kam Sang. And Tenzing Hishe of 3rd Standard. Kung Kam Sang. They are from Mewin Putan School of Ganjin Keshong, Dharamshala. ครั้งนั้นบัดซ้ำมาแล้วฮันจูเลียดินเดียนาเพย์เบตช์ติเลย์เลยทารีซ่าครั้งนั้นบัดชิลโลเลียดูอ๋อมาเรียลับเตะล
Lipta Kinso Ank Tango Dira, Laga Ank Tango de Kinso Karjia Jamjin. Mat Chashan and Rada Labsan Lagbawala Majani Hango Big and Subi, and then it in Lapa Chia de Chi Dinna Tugana Duni Lapa to Gir, Lapa Gidumba to Gitama to Gir, and don't what you. Alla, and you lap with the Hinchy Minji Hara, the dog get to raise it to Gra. Easy. Nicha get to Nidira. Can you tell me about the lap with you? I get the lap with this to ready. How could you wear? Jida Tambo Nipa Sumba Shiba Napa Chokba. This is this. Any a cancer radi lap with you? I get good ring ready. Has it got a ちゃんにしゅ。にんたらかちゃんにしゅら。で、けんさんもラプチャチングドえ。ど、ど。たんだでロックダウンサプタがドえ。で、けんさんあんたんごドえ。カレジアギデブド。ま、ちょもとげち
And as a, a working person, we need to uh, be a very balancing kind of thing. Uh, so it's, a, it's, a, it's both good and it's also challenging. Right? As, a, as a father, it's quite challenging also. So like you mentioned, the COVID-19 pandemic has brought lots of challenges for the parents across the world, such as work from home and homeschooling your kid. And also you have to do your daily house chores as well. So most importantly, as a parent, you take all the possible precautions to protect your child and your family members. So during this situation, can you tell us what is the most challenging thing and how do you overcome it? Um, uh, as I've said that I don't uh, face any uh, very serious difficulty. But as Lekshila has shared uh, right now, as working parents, right, uh, we need to give equal uh, time on work as well as uh, two children. Uh, we shouldn't uh, neglect either. So that's uh, the most challenging uh, thing uh, for me as a mother, as a parent. Uh, but, uh, you know, yeah, during that process, it happened, you know, uh, twice or thrice, you know, we get worn out, right? We get so tired and you know we get irritated at small things and then we shout at children right and later on we regret and we apologize so this happened a uh, few times twice or thrice so uh, so i feel it's kind of a na natural thing <laughs> 24 hours uh, with the kids as a mother as a you know like you know i see it uh, positively as well because you know they see their parents you know um, working late night, you know, doing the office works, along with household chores, and then looking after kids, you know, and my daughters, you know, I wish, I hope that, you know, they get inspired. We used, normally we used to have a kind of timetable at home, right? Normally, you know, like rising up till uh, going to bed, you know, they do this and that, you know, it follows like that. And during this period of time, uh, we have made a little modifications, changes, you know, according to the time we have, you know, we have plenty of time. So we have made little changes and accordingly, you know, when they get up, you know, uh, reading those root texts, reading, writing, and in between, you know, they have so many activities, you know, uh, um, to be carried on throughout the day, you know, and uh, we normally give more importance uh, to indoor games. Normally we are in Dharamsala, hilly area, um, and then monkeys and dogs, you know, so we seldom <laughs> send our children out, you know, without, uh, parents, you know, without elderly. So we used to encourage with so many indoor games. So I think, you know, these kind of activities, you know, uh, make them engaged, you know, in all these um, activities. And once I remember my elder daughter, she even said that I wish we have 30 hours in a day so that we could, we could do more, you know, but it's just opposite to my middle one, you know, she said, you know, she wishes to go to school now. <laughs> She's Everyone is actually vacation. wishing to go to school. <laughs> yeah, and she said you know, she's tired of this long vacation now, but she wants to go back to school. You are definitely making a positive outcome out of this difficult situation. Exactly, exactly. Lakshila, what about you? What challenges have you been facing? In fact, uh, for me, being a father of a two young uh, sons, boys. boys, and uh, being a working father, so uh, we, I need to set an example to my kids, right? How I should be serious in my life, right? So when I when I uh, when we get up, right, I used to work in my home, and then at the time when I work, I tell my kids to study, right, at the same time. But the problem with me is because this is uh, is a new kind of thing for me. So what happens? Uh, kids they are more adjusted to the schools rather than studying in the home, so they are not used to it. So uh, they became quite lazy and sometimes like, uh, because when it became a routine, it became restless, right? And uh, then they, they say, I, I want to go this way, I want to go that way, I want to go to school and all these things. So we need to be quite creative in, 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 uh, in making them, right, uh, stay in, at home uh, with passion, mm -hmm. right? So uh, we need to change the timetable as suitable to them. And uh, I, I think uh, the teachers at Bedon Lopta has, uh, has done a great in giving uh, in the homeworks through WhatsApp messages, right, through online, right. So uh, we need to check the WhatsApp messages every now and then to see what are the things which the teachers let us do for the, for the kids. So in fact, this morning, uh, we got a message from the teacher to send a small clip of what they are doing. 
So therefore, this is a kind of a, uh, now it became a routine for us, right? What the kid likes, what the kid doesn't like. So what, uh, how to inspire them, how to motivate them to do better is also one thing which, uh, and it's, a, it's another challenge, right? It's a new challenge for us because normally what we do is when we send the kids to school and for the, for the whole day, we are away from the kids, and we didn't realize that they are, they are doing something, right? And now they are with us for 24 hours, and we now realize that there are so many things which we didn't understand them. So it's a kind of phase, I think, uh, it's a good phase that we can understand what the kids like, what the kid doesn't like. In fact, my younger son, uh, uh, rather than studying, right, he's studying, but rather than studying, he keeps on uh, drawing. We can also understand that this must be his passion for his life. We try to create a new kind of like dance, right, uh, Zumba or something like that. But somehow, somehow it doesn't work. Right? One day they'll work, another day they won't, they skip it. So we have to look at uh, the, uh, the things, what they want and try to pursue it uh, so that they realize that uh, this is good for them. Like Leshala just mentioned that working, recreating a school in the house can be a little challenging because uh, the students, the kids, the children, they are normally, they are habituated studying in the school and not at home. So regarding this, Pamela, how do you educate your child during these situations and keep them interested and engaged in learning? And um, if they are doing online courses, how do they respond to it? Staff quarter where, where we stay, you know, uh, there, where the internet connection is extremely poor. Uh, plus, uh, we don't have cable TV at home. So, um, for me and for my children, online teaching is uh, very difficult. But, you know, I take in charge of kitchen <laughs> and bathroom and cleanliness and everything. But my husband takes care of their, you know, reading or writing. And as Lakshila has shared, they have also a bunch of homeworks, uh, you know, to be done. So uh, their father is always with them in the evening. So they spend a couple of hours in doing all those uh, homeworks. And when they feel the need of help, then they ask their uh, fathers. So I'm always there to serve them, you know, uh, that, you know, levels. And that gives them, uh, like, uh, interest or that retains their interest in studies. As as we have discussed before, parents these days are donning multiple roles like that of a parent and now they are also a school teacher and also someone who is working from home. So at a time like this, it becomes really hard for the parents to prioritize themselves first. They often seem to neglect their own health, which is actually very important for them too. So as the saying goes, put on your mask before you assist others. <laughs> How do you make sure that you are taking care of yourselves? Um, yeah, that's very true. You know, uh, we parents mm. now, um, the day we become parents, you know, unknowingly, you know, we tend to neglect our health. You know, we tend to forget our likes and dislikes, our hobbies and all that. It's very natural. But when we neglect our health, you know, um, I, I had, you know, several experiences myself, you know, like I tend to forget my own health and problems, you know, and then um, I, I really faced uh, big problems and I learned lessons from those and these days I'm taking very care of my own health and uh, especially being asthmatic you know mm -hmm. and during this period of time whenever I go out of on my home then I'm always with um, a face mask so that I'm, I'm not get infected so that my children are safe at home and uh, at the same time I take care of my food and drinks uh, you know and um, of course, now we are adults, we understand the seriousness of this uh, coronavirus. And even the, uh, you know, children, uh, you know, they are very smart, you know, when we explain them and they see us, you know, we just go out when we have some very <coughs> important unavoidable um, task to uh, go outside, you know, and when we come inside with the mask, you know, they see the seriousness, right? And we come back with the shopping things like vegetable fruits or whatever package, you know, we just go straight to the kitchen and wash everything, you know, which they have never witnessed in whole life, right? So even my three years old girl, you know, she says, uh, you know, ah, the Corona is there, just close the door fast, you know, she says like that. So uh, I think uh, like we adults uh, really must uh, be alert about all this and explain things. Lakshila, what about you? 
So right now, because we are engaged with them, and uh, I do believe that whatever we do, we just set an example to the kids, right? So, so far, uh, I think even my younger uh, son, right, he's three years old, he knows how to wash his hand. As, uh, as much as in a day, he might wash his hand 20 times, yes. right? And all the time, he, whenever he goes down, he'll say, I have to wash my hands, right? Always there. So therefore, I think, uh, I think it's a good moment, right? Uh, in fact, though, uh, at this very critical time, there are so many things happening in the world. But uh, if you look at the home, right, I think it's a very good moment to understand each other, to know each other, to, to, uh, for the kids to inspire them and to teach them the lesson for, the, for, the, uh, for their own right, uh, growth. The first thing, we have to take care of your own health, right? And for that one, you have to stay inside your own home. You don't have to go outside. I think it's a necessity for us to be uh, taking care of ourselves and also for our kids and for all the world. Thank you so much, Pamela and Lekshala, for sharing your experiences with Tibet TV. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode of In Conversation with Tibet TV.